getting a wholesaling real estate and you cannot find a buyer. Here's three things you need to implement today to find cash buyers for your wholesaling real estate business. Number one, I need you guys to go to local meetups. Go to these meetups, shake hands, kiss babies, talk to people, understand, hey, who's a buyer? What do you buy? Where do you buy? How do you run your numbers? How much do you pay? All this kind of stuff. Understand them, build a relationship with them. They are now your customer. Number two, this is one of my favorite ones. Go on Zillow, find recently flipped properties, go take that address, put it into public records or put it into PropStream, find the entity that flipped it, so the LLC, and then take that entity, go to opencorporates.com. Put that entity in there as well as the jurisdiction that it's in, probably just that state. Once you're on there, it'll show you the registered agent and the mailing address. Take that information, go to fastpeoplesearch.com, skip trace them and call them and say, hey, I saw your flip you did over there on Maple Street. You guys did an amazing job. I'm a wholesaler in the area. Are you looking for more projects? I have what I'd love to send you if you are. Third one, Facebook groups. Now I know what you're thinking, Eric, all these buyers in Facebook groups are scams, none of them are real, blah, blah, blah. Do the work, screen them, get on the phone with them, have a conversation, build rapport, find out their entity name, find out other flips they've done, verify it. Do the work up front so you have a solid, vetted, verified list of buyers. If you stuck around to the end, bonus tip. I need you guys to think of your buyers as customers to your business. What you are trying to do is you're trying to sell them your product, which is a property that needs work or love or whatever it is. So now you guys are trying to sell a product and I want, I want you guys to focus on is selling it and packaging it in a beautiful way that makes a buyer say, wow, I cannot wait for Eric to send me another deal because I love getting deals from him because they're so easy to underwrite and they're such good deals. How do you do that? You might say, build what I call a deal card. You can do this on PowerPoint. You can do it on Google slides. You can do it on a PDF. You can do it on Canva, whatever tickles your peach. What you need to have is you need to have the following information, property address, closing date, a link to pictures and ideally a video walkthrough, large ticket rehab items, comps, occupancy at closing, access. What does it look like for them to be able to get into the property to look at it? Ages of all major system, roof, HVAC, plumbing, electrical, etc. Estimated ARV, estimated rehab and asking price. So on this deal card, you want it to be like a three by five index card that you could hand to your buyer. They look at it and every single piece of information they could possibly want about that deal is on that card. You want them to be able to see that card and say yes or no to your deal in under a minute. Yes, they're obviously gonna verify comps, but that's the gist of it. Stand out from the crowd when you're dispositioning deals. Far too often, I see wholesalers send an address with a price and say, will you buy this, yes or no? Stand out, go above and beyond and go close some deals.